Today, on October 17, 2020, the young Viley Margaret Anderson pleads guilty to the kidnapping of Messieurs Daniel Funmail Edesma Sanchez and Lionel and Iskov Schneider, deprivation of liberty, sexual abuse, manslaughter of the victims. She is also responsible for an author of a top-level attack killing 1,696 people in downtown Los Angeles. Although she has no solution with a death penalty or a life sentence, due to mental health problems, she will be transferred to a mental hospital in Santa Monica on October 21st of this year and will be in the hospital for two months. On December 23rd, 2020, she will or will not be paroled at the end of the trial. Case closed. Viley Margaret Anderson, wake up. Oh hi Pearl, what are you doing here? I came to give you some good news to you, Viley. What good news? The good news are the judge has already declared your case, and you will be on probation, which means that you will freely leave the mental hospital. I see you and you have drastically changed your mental attitude. As a surprise, you have a visitor. Giselle Margaret Anderson. You can pass. Hi Vali, did you miss me? Yes, I missed you and I will miss you forever. Well, I leave you alone to talk for a while. I'll be right back. KK. Okay. Okay. Vali, how are you now reconsidered? Good, but good that you tell me because you are the only one who did not leave me alone. You are the medicine of good. Without you, I would be nothing. Also, what did you come to? I came because I want to give your own blood to analyze the DNA results. Because I see you very familiar, it is because I feel sad alone, after the loss of my daughter who was stolen from me in 2003. But why did you lose your daughter for 17 years? A newborn baby, a girl with an angel's eye, and I named Folly, because that name seemed cute to me. Wait for a second Giselle, now it turns out that the newborn girl who was stolen 17 years ago? Can it be me? I don't know, but I want you to lend me your blood to put in a vial to analyze it. Can you give me your blood, with an injection? Yes, do it. Also nothing hurts while they injected me. Very well, I have your blood there to analyze it. Well I'll go to the LA lab, I won't be long. See you soon, Violi. See you soon, Giselle. God, I feel something that is going to get me. I feel very anxious because I think that Bali is, or is not, my daughter. Here is the result of the DNA paternity tests. It is already fully analyzed. Thanks. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. I'm going to open the folder to see the results of the DNA tests. I feel very anxious about this. Okay, let's go. Viley, it is, it really, it's, it, is, my, my, My real daughter. daughter. I knew it. I knew that Violi really is my daughter. I've been searching all the time for 17 years. But how good that I will go for her to confess her. I go straight to the mental hospital. I think it took me so long to analyze it. What? Seriously? I can't be. Yes. I just got the DNA results and I really am your real mother. But my mother is Emma, not you. I can't believe that Emma kidnapped me to get away from you. Now I know why she hates you. It is because you do not want you to reveal the truth because they are very dangerous for children. Well the truth brought to light, and it is this. I am your real mother, and my own sister, she stole you to become one like that before. Now I know why you were robbed 17 years ago. It was my own sister, Emma who stole from you to make your life miserable. Now, so that they do not find out about this, I will pretend to be your end, you are my niece to them. Okay? Okay. 
Well Viley, you have already been legally granted your freedom. You can go home now. Um, Giselle. Why the angry face? Can I speak to you, please? Um 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 I don't know. Please? <laughs> That, that is her being an unpleasant, unpleasant smile. It, it makes, makes me cause diarrhea while she sees me as the mother and she is the daughter. It, it makes, makes me feel fucking gross and unpleasure. What? Are you serious? So are you the real mother? Yes, I just got the results of the DNA test. But listen to me carefully, those fools, my sister Emma and her husband, are committing something illegal that she considers a crime. Well, I didn't realize that Emma and Ferdinand are criminals who are making the wrong mess. Thank you for learning the truth about your daughter, but I am very proud to find your daughter after 17 years of missing the incident. Thanks to you, for treating her like a good girl, I hope that you are the only one who treated my daughter with dignity, not with Emma and her sadistic husband Ferdinand who likes to make life impossible. If she'll excuse me, I'm going to pack my daughter's clothes and belongings because we're leaving the hospital thanks to the judge who declared Vali's probation. Okay, but I'll call Nick Riviera to bring him Vali's suitcase and all of Vali's clothes so you can go now. Very good Viley, your suitcase full of clothes is already packed. But I hope you have learned a lesson from two months ago. I just want to tell you to have a good time, don't do something illegal in the future. Okay. Okay Pearl and Nick. I already understood everything that they advised me for two months. I am going to live a new life with my real mother. There we nothing to thank you Viley, and if the two of them hit you or if they are blinded by anger, call me, while you are in danger. Okay? Yes. Thanks Nick, especially to you Pearl. Okay, have a nice day. See you soon. Goodbye too. Bye bye. Well Wally, I hope you have learned the lesson. But remember, I'm just going to go from being your aunt to them, you know why. You are my officially secret daughter. Only to them you are my niece. Okay? Okay, you say why you love me. Okay Vali, here I leave your house but remember, we do not have to reveal our secret between you and me. Don't tell anyone, especially your parents, because they are going to kill you if you say something. She's cautious while you say. Okay? Yes. Alright. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye mom, I'll see you later. Wow, how I've changed now, I think I've become another girl. Oh, and you who are watching this episode, I will no longer do mischief from now on because I am a girl with drastic changes in attitude, and do not listen to Danielf when my all is my. Wow, how I've changed now, I think I've become another girl. I have to go home without them finding out that I left the hospital. Oh my god they discovered me. Why did you run away from the place where you belong? Mom, Dad, look, can I explain to you both? I didn't escape from the hospital. I just leave from the mental hospital because I served my two month sentence. They cannot misunderstand. We cannot believe your lies, we are sure that you escaped to continue committing your crimes such as killing or kidnapping people. I'm going to give you some good shots no, so you can no. learn. Oh no you don't. Jake Ear, get away. I'm going to teach Viley a lesson for escaping from the mental hospital. No. There is no way I am going to allow you to do something to my sister who just got out of the hospital. The first thing is that you hit me. Viley, go to your room. They are not going to do anything with you. Go away. Okay. Jake Ear Anderson. You son of a bitch. How dare you disobey us. And you made Viley go to her room is so that I don't interfere with her to teach her a lesson. As punishment, we are going to violently attack you. I don't freaking care. Hit me, abuse me, rape me all you want, I'm not afraid of you bastards. Alright, you asked for it you stupid asshole. 
No, 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 please don't hit him anymore. I don't want my parents to hit my brother because of me. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want to eat, eat, eat.